Oh, yeah, the WWE's biggest superstars will be at Rico Coliseum tonight. John Cena, Seth Rollins, and, of course, the brand-new intercontinental champ, the master of the pop-up powerbomb, Kevin Owens. Oh, yeah. Music. You like that? Yeah, you might have a future you might in have ring a second career? Yeah, not can we bad please, at all. Can we please discuss the shiny, beautiful thing yeah. beside you? Yeah, of course. I just lifted it. I Would mean, you like to, yeah, this, take a gander. This is heavy, and it is a, a beautiful thing to behold. How the heck do you get through airport security with this, Kevin? You know, it's uh, not as hard as you'd think, because uh, I think a lot of people just kind of know what it is now, you know? They don't even really take it out of the bag, and when they do, it's more or less to just kind of take pictures with it. Right? So, yeah, it's not too bad. So, how did it feel? Because that just happened this last Sunday. This yeah. is fresh for you. Yeah, it was great. I mean, uh, you know, I've been watching WWE since I was 11 years old, and that uh, th this particular title has been around for, you know, a long time. So, uh, you know, to, want, to win a title that... I used to, you know, I used to have the foam version of it, like the toy version yeah, of it yeah, when I was a yeah, kid, yeah, yeah. to win the actual thing, and uh, now my son gets to play with it. That's a pretty good feeling. Let's talk about your two kids. I know you are such a big family man, which yeah. I love. You know, he's a heel, but he has a big heart, that's for <laughs> sure. And we love that you're so true to your Canadian roots. Good morning to your beautiful wife and your son and daughter. We've got some video of young Owens. Okay. How old is uh, Owen? He's seven. Okay, so this is him watching his papa in action. We have it. Here it comes. The suspense. Maybe. No. Oh, we don't have it. And it's a hit and a miss. But ah. you do. Tweet people can look. Yeah, people can look it up, can on look Twitter. It up on Twitter. Twitter yeah. feed. So w how do they feel about Dad doing his thing um, in the ring? So my son's been, uh, you know, watching me. He's seven now, but you know, his whole life he's been used to watching me when I was on the independent scene and everything. But for years he would ask me, you know, if I'd ever wrestled John Cena or ever wrestled in WWE. So. I kind of made a conscious choice to, you know, do as uh, the most I could to get there. And uh, yeah. now that I'm here, he's pretty thrilled about it. Especially, you know, considering my first night was, uh, you know, getting in the ring with John Cena. I think that. Uh, and kinda, you defeated uh, him yeah, in did, May. I did. Kind of blew his mind, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and all of a sudden, it was like, who is this guy? And yep. you were on the map. You exploded. What mm -hmm. is it like having all of these die-hard fans now? Some are very lovely. Some are not. And I love that you put them on blast. You're not afraid yeah. of those people. There's some pretty rude people. Most of the fans are great. Most of the interaction we have with people, you know, everybody's very nice and grateful. But, uh, you know, there's, it's like in any walks of life, really. You know, some people just feel entitled or just try to get a rise out of you. And... You know, I'll block a lot of people on Twitter. It's yeah, one of my favorite things to do. But before I do, I always kind of try to, I don't know, you know, if they deserve it, I'll, I'll put them on blast a little, right? you know, if need be. You're getting tons of love from some of the greatest in the biz, like yeah. uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin, who said, you said, gave you the best advice. Yeah. What was that piece of advice? Uh, I met him in an airport uh, in 2005. Uh, and, you know, I was a huge Stone Cold fan. Um, so when I met him, I, of course, I had to ask him, uh, you know, if he had any advice, because he was getting on a flight, you know, he didn't have a lot of time, but he still took the time to tell me to uh, never stop running my mouth, basically, is always <laughs> talk and, you know, talk trash, just be as loud as you can, and that's how you're going to get people's attention. And I took that advice to heart, and, uh, you know, I think that's a big part of who I am now, and it's helped me get to where I am now. And The Rock is also a fan. That's yeah. got to feel great. Have you met him? Yeah, I have. It's, you know, it's pretty crazy. I was, you know, I was a kid, I would watch those guys, and... Uh, you know, now I, I interact with them and I'm in touch with them and, you know, they, they give me advice, they give me feedback on what I do and, you know, there's really no better guys to get, uh, you know, feedback from in, uh, in this industry than those two. So. You have a long day ahead of you. Tell yeah. us what we can expect tonight for everybody coming out. Uh, it's going to be a great show, you know, the Rico Coliseum. It's my first time there with WWE. It's my first time there, period, so I'm pretty excited. I'm Ryback's going to try to take this thing uh, away from me, but I'm not going to let him. And, right? you know, you got Seth Rollins and John Cena, like you mentioned. They always tear it up. It's going to be a great time. So many new exciting firsts for you. So enjoy and enjoy your family you. and welcome back home. Thank you. It's so good to Thanks see you. Catch me. the WWE live tonight at the Rico Coliseum. And remember, if you subscribe, guys, head on over to the WWE Network. You can watch all of the pay-per-views, including Hell in a Cell on October 25th. Go to WWE.com slash Canada for more information. Thank you so much. Good Thank to you. see you. Right now to the other Kevin in the newsroom.